Hello, I'm Ollie and this is Criminally, where I talk about crime, pulp, horror, that kind of thing. Today, crime, I'm doing a review of The Postman Always Rings Twice by James M. Cain. So this is one of those books I've been aware of, um, you know, forever. Um, obviously, it was very famously filmed um, twice as two different movie versions of it, both of which are, are very well thought of. Um, and it's a book I've been meaning, you know, as I say, I've been meaning to read for a long time. Um, and it was one of the first books I bought when I came off my 100 book challenge. So I think it was Greg at another movie shall read who read. I can't remember if it was this or Double Indemnity. I think it was this. He read as part of his 100 book challenge um, and raved about it. And it, it really is fantastic. Um, so, yeah, originally published in the 30s. Um, and and really shocking for a book of that age, I, I think. Um, so it centres on three characters. Um, so there's a guy called Frank, who's kind of a bit of a drifter, and it's set in, in California. So Frank is a bit of a drifter who ends up um, turning up at this like roadside diner that's run by a husband and wife. So the, the husband is a Greek guy called Nick, um, and the wife is a woman called Cora. Um, and... Um, Frank and Cora very quickly <laughs> start an affair like and, and there was a particular bit that I'm going to read out in, in a little while and I was thinking um, oh it must have been you know about page 30 or something like that that they start the affair it's page 8 <laughs> it's like right at the start um, it, this book does not mess about it just gets right in there um, yeah so they, they start this affair um, and conspire to to kill Nick the husband um, and I'm not going to tell you any more than that because the, the plot goes all over the place. Um, it's it's really dark and really really twisted, um, and you know quite um, quite introspective and quite moving by the end. Um, it's you know a real re a really really downbeat book, um, but it's fantastic, and I, and I can really see why it's so well thought of. Um, it it moves. Uh, incredibly quickly I mean it's, it's only a little over 100 pages long so 116 pages so it's practically a novella um, but it's it, he packs so much into that both in terms of um, you know how quickly the plot moves but also just in terms of um, events and um, emotions and uh, you know reflection on but I suppose particularly on male female relationships which which he's got a fairly bleak view of um, but just on on life in general um, there's some fantastic um, twists and turns in the book some real uh, kind of rags to riches type stuff going on um, it you know it could easily if it was written today with the same plot you'd be looking at a 400 page book at least probably um, but he just there's there's no chaff in this book at all it's it's all good stuff um, yeah he just he just barrels <laughs> he just barrels into the story so yeah uh, but as I say I found it quite shocking so it's not you know you know that Frank and Cora have sex a lot um, but it's not sexually explicit um, and you know you probably wouldn't expect it to be you know a book of this age um, you know it's certainly not compared to you know sex scenes you get in books nowadays um, even in you know very mainstream books um, but it still manages to be really shocking so this is this is the bit from um, when Frank and Cora first get together um, I don't normally read you know I don't normally do readings from the books um, that I'm reading on the channel because I'm just that's just not really my style but this passage was just just struck me so hard um, that I, I had to read it out to you um, so basically they've um, you know they've kind of been making eyes at each other so Nick starts working at the diner uh, uh, sorry Frank starts working at the diner and Frank and Cora kind of start making eyes together and you know there's a bit of a spark between them and then Nick the husband goes into Los Angeles to like buy supplies for the for the diner so they're alone together for the first time Los Angeles wasn't but 20 miles away, but he shined himself up like he was going to Paris, and right after lunch he went. Soon as he was gone, I locked the front door. I picked up a plate that a guy had left and went on back in, in the kitchen with it. She was there. Here's a plate that was out there. Oh, thanks. I set it down. The fork was rattling like a tambourine. I was going to go, but I started some things cooking, and I thought I'd better not. I got plenty to do myself. You feeling better? I'm all right. 
sometimes just some little thing will do it like a change of water something like that probably too much lunch what's that somebody was out front rattling the door sounds like somebody trying to get in it's the door lock frank i must have locked it she looked at me and got pale she went to the swinging door and peeked through then she went into the lunchroom but but in a minute she was back they went away i don't know why i locked it i forgot to unlock it she started for the lunchroom again but i stopped her let's leave it locked nobody can get in if it's locked i got i got some cooking to do i'll wash up this plate i took her in my arms and mashed my mouth up against hers bite me bite me i bit her i sunk my teeth into her lips so deep i could feel the blood spurt into my mouth it was running down her neck when i carried her upstairs <laughs> wow for, like for the 30s that seems incredibly intense and graphic um and yeah the whole you know the whole book is like that it's fooled with this kind of pent-up passion um and violence um and you know it's it, it's never um you know really really graphically violent but there is a fair bit of violence in it um and it's it's so gritty and believable um you know it's it's written in this very hard-boiled style which i think sometimes can kind of um can get in the way of books because it's become such a cliche almost over the years that style of writing i think sometimes when you read it it feels like pastiche um, but in this it really doesn't it just feels really really immediate um, and gripping so yeah um, a fantastic fantastic book thoroughly recommended only very short um, so it won't take you know it's a, the kind of book you can devour in a single sitting um, but yeah I, I really really recommend this if you like if you like classic crime um, it's an absolute belter so as always um, hope you enjoyed that video let me know if you've read The Postman Always Rings Twice and what you thought of it um, yeah I hope as always that you're all safe and well and that you're really good stuff and I will speak to you again very soon cheerio